Hi everyone, welcome back to my kitchen. I'm really excited today because I'm showing you one of my signature recipes, slow cooker chicken soup. I'm just gonna give you a little bit of background on this and why I love it so much and why I make it all year round. As you can see, it's summertime in London and I'm making chicken soup. I got into making chicken soup back in 2009 when I was trying to heal my ulcerative colitis. I had read a book called uh, Breaking the Vicious Cycle by Ellen Gottschall and her daughter, she wrote this book and she healed her daughter uh, with food and one of the first recipes one can digest when you have these kind of conditions is chicken soup. So. I removed all foods from my life and I started with chicken, salt, carrots and then I added things and it's a long story my recovery but I still make chicken soup on a very regular basis because it's so healing for you, it's absolutely delicious, my kids love it and the collagen in the water uh, in the soup really reveals the gut lining and that's why you see me use collagen so much whether it's through cooking or it's through collagen powder. And slow cooking brings collagen out of the bones. And for that reason, please use organic chicken. Otherwise, what you're bringing out of the bones is the antibiotics and the chemicals the chicken has been fed. So for all my very healing foods like this, especially that are slow cooked for a long time, I try and source organic free range ingredients. So I've got organic free-range chicken, organic carrots, organic celery, and uh, my herbs, my sea salt, and I use filtered water to make the soup. Let me show you. Okay guys, these are organic carrots and organic celery. I, I use, usually use three carrots and three celery stalks. The carrots I do not peel. The reason for that, and I've explained it several times on my Instagram, is that you have prebiotics in the soil, which feed the probiotics in your gut. So I just rinse them quickly, and I chop them up roughly without peeling them. This is such an easy recipe. You just put everything in the slow cooker as you go. There's no cooking beforehand. Just put everything, leave it to cook, and a few hours later, it's done. As you can see, I, I cut everything roughly. You don't have to chop them thin or anything. It's a quick, it really is a quick, easy recipe for every day. And because I make uh, this all year long, that's why my slow cooker um, is not a winter thing for me. I just use it all the time. I like to make slow cooked lamb shines during the summer as well. Sometimes I even make tagine. I'm going to show you all this soon. So one onion, as you can see. Everything is organic. Next, I'm taking my chicken. And what I do, because I don't want to have too much fat, is remove any excess skin from the chicken. Because this can make, you know, the soup a little fatty. So you can use either four chicken legs or one whole chicken. And when you see like a little bit of fat like this, I kind of remove it. Otherwise it'll float all the soup, it's not very pleasant. So I repeat this process on all of them. There we go. So next I'm putting a, a bouquet garni. People ask me what it is. It's just a little tea bag in which you have dried thyme, parsley, bay leaves and marjoram. So I put it in. Then I go in with some black pepper. 
pepper allows us to absorb nutrients, all the nutrients. Next, I'm using sea salt. I prefer sea salt to pink Himalayan salt because um, there's iodine in it, which is good for thyroid function. You need quite a bit of salt because there's going to be a lot of water. I add thyme, but it's optional, it's just that I like it. Dry thyme. And I do like to put a bay leaf as well, although there are some in the tea bag. I like to put one as well. And finally, this is optional, but I like to put a little stock pot just to add flavor. Uh, this is a chicken one, it's organic. Um, they, they do vegetable ones, and you can skip this step if you don't want to put it. Here we go, and now I'm going to cover with filtered water. I put a lot of water because I'm trying to get as much broth, chicken broth, as I can out of this. Here we go, I fill it in. And I'm putting my slow cooker on. You can put it on low if you're doing it overnight, uh, on medium if you're watching it, or if you want to do it in like four hours or so. We can put it on high. I'm going to put it on high today. And then what we'll do is, once it's cooked, we're going to remove the chicken, debone it, and then put the meat back in. There we go. So it's been four hours cooking on high in my slow cooker. I'm going to remove the chicken legs from the slow cooker, debone it, remove the skin as well, and put the chicken meat back in the soup and it's ready to be eaten anytime. We can carry on put, putting it on low if we wanted to carry on cooking, but really it's ready. And you can pair it with anything you like. You can put, I mean for my kids, I put little noodles last minute in it. For me, I put nothing or I put some cognac, konjac pasta. You know that those uh, grain-free, low-carb pastas which you find everywhere now, which come from Asia and uh, sometimes I just have a cup of the broth in a mug on empty stomach and it does good to my gut or before going to bed. So you're ju I'm just going to switch it off now. Look at this guys. Yum. So I am going to uh, very gently remove the chicken legs one by one. I'm going to remove the bouquet garni, we don't need it anymore. This is a health in a jar, tell you. So now just with two forks, I'm removing the skin. Like this, and look, it just falls off. You can put it straight back in. As you go or afterwards, it doesn't matter. We're pretty much done. Here we go. And now uh, we're gonna serve it. Okay, so we're now gonna serve the soup. It's all done, ready. The meat is shredded in it, and I decorate with a little bit of coriander. In fact, I'm gonna start by chopping it off. Okay, so I'm going to chop up a little bit of coriander. Oh, sorry, this is parsley. You can use parsley or coriander, whatever you fancy. A very earthy soup. Good for you. Paleo, keto, dairy free, gluten free, as I said before. And so easy to make, requires very little preparation. Makes a delicious meal and keeps for five days. There you have it, my slow cooker chicken soup. I hope you enjoy it. It is anti inflammatory, it's super good for you. It is filling, yet light, and extremely healthy. Thanks for watching.